What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk a little bit more in depth about the damage over time effect nerf coming with update 35. I made a video a few days back talking about all the changes coming with update 35. But now that the public test server is out on the PC side, I've been reading a lot of, you know, complaints from the community, even other content creators, uh, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, whatever the case may be, about how the damage over time nerf is not a really great one that it's really you know pretty much killing damage over time effects now of course this may change in the coming weeks considering you know zos can change a lot of stuff over the next four five six weeks within the public test server so you know a lot of this could change they may decide to not you know nerf it as hard right now but the whole purpose that zos kind of talked about of the reason they're changing damage over time effects they want to make rotations for new players easier which i'm perfectly fine with but at the same time, they are really kind of putting a hit on uh, the damage per second output of these abilities. So in order for them to make it easier for new players, they've decided to kind of also put a hit on it to make the damage per second kind of put it at a decrease, which makes a lot of people feel like there's going to be no need in running damage over time effects for players that have played for a long time, uh, even for players that you know are newer to the game once they get the hang of that rotation they're going to start to realize that damage over time effects may not be as good as some other abilities that you could use there's things that you could replace those dots with and you know make uh, you know, do a lot more damage or, or make your build work a little bit better uh, one reason a lot of people are upset is because if you're a trials player even in some uh, cases some of the newer dungeons bosses move around a lot so certain damage over time effects with less damage per tick a boss moves if a boss moves, excuse me, you're gonna have to be replacing your damage over time a whole lot. So there's been a lot of, like there's been a lot of complaints from pretty much everyone in the community about this. And I think even some of the newer players are kind of confused at why they're doing this. You know, if they're gonna make rotations easier, why then they do this a different way? Because a lot of newer players use dots. That's one easy way, in my opinion, to learn how to play the game. You're using dots. You're not having to cast something all the time. We know that a lot of attack weaving is getting nerfed too. So if you're not someone that was a, a person that liked to weave before now. Uh, a lot of people use dots because that was a, a good way to get a good bit of damage. And now that they're nerfing the damage over time effects, like the tick per second or the damage output per second, it kind of leaves a lot of people wondering exactly why they're doing this. Because going forward, like I said, it's going to make a lot of people kind of feel like that damage over time abilities are not really that useful. Unless, like I said, there are some changes to the public test server. I, I think a lot of people, if this stands, will be running different abilities than damage over time abilities just because... I think you're going to be able to get from everything that I have read and seen so far. And of course, like I said, this could change. I think you're going to be able to get more damage out of, you know, other things in game besides just using those, those dots. So going forward, we'll kind of have to wait and see what Zoss says, what Zoss kind of does. I know that there, I think in my opinion, Zoss may be a little bit shocked at how the community has reacted to all the combat changes within update 35. Uh, you know, I've seen the community over the last six or seven years, you know, be upset about some things. But it seems like the community as a whole, and there's a whole lot more people in the community that maybe not even have not even said anything in the past, kind of coming out talking about these combat changes, how they're really not agreeing with them. And you know, no matter what side you're on, if you like light weave, to, uh, light weave attacking, if you don't like light weave attacking, attacking, if you think these dots need to be nerfed, if you don't think they do, I, I, one thing that I am glad to see is the community really, you know, letting Zoss know how they feel. And of course, that's a good thing. Now, of course, there's been a lot of negative, you know kind of rude comments out there which i you know i, I kind of hate that happens i wish that didn't happen but it if kind of besides that you know if everyone just kind of you know voices their opinion and you know lets everyone else have their opinion as well like i said i think this is good for zoss going forward because i don't think zoss expected such a reaction for uh this update 35 combat changes so leave me a comment with your thoughts do you think dots will be useless do you think dots in the future are going to have to kind of be worked on a bit before you know update 35 actually goes live so leave me a comment with your thoughts down in the comment section of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace